step into the ring. Welcome to Post Purple vs. Bryant University in this week seven of the ECAC. I'm Frisco Fragrant. Uh, looks like we're getting a button check right now. BK on Sheik. Uh, I don't know if BK has a Sheik. I've never seen it before. If he does, I hope we see it. Or unless he's not, unless uh, he doesn't play it. But I'm pretty sure BK plays 10 hours away from Connecticut. So I, I, I highly doubt that there's somebody else. But dude, BK does have a Sheik, I want to see it. It would be the most interesting, I feel like it would be the most interesting character to throw into Post University's lineup. Because Post, as I, you know, I always talk about, Post is a very heavy-oriented college. They play a lot of heavies. Um, it would be really interesting to have like a lighter, more combo-based character like Sheik in the actual lineup. We'll see though, we're probably going to see Dark Samus. Now if we are going up against Falcon... Falcon, uh, I feel like that's a, actually a pretty decent matchup, <coughs> especially against um, Dark Samus, because Falcon has a lot of ground speed, uh, you know, still somewhat aerial oriented, but Falcon really likes dashing out, dashing in uh, really quickly, even though he has that slight problem where his heel, whenever he turns around, his heel kind of stays out. A lot of Falcons will complain about his turnaround being some of the one of the worst turnarounds in the game because he leaves himself slightly exposed. But still, his ground speed is so silly. And if he can stay grounded against Samus, it's usually a little better off to get his shield and change it more and whatnot. And we are getting the Dark Samus coming out of BK right now. Uh, again, with any of these ECAC matches, we have nine stocks per college. Uh, first team to reduce the other uh, college's stocks wins the round. Uh, and, this, and from there, it's a best of three. So let's see what, how BK kind of starts this one. Going for the charge shot. And here's the problem. If Samus is going to have a bit lower air speed and ground speed than Captain Falcon. So if Falcon really punishes a lot of these interactions of like landing when it comes to Dark Samus, it's going to be very tricky for BK to get things going. Zare is going to be a really big thing against Falcon from any of his approaches. Ooh, that grab, if it was timed slightly later, would have been so cool to catch Falcon out of that air dodge. Really would have been so cool. Dodge look. BK really likes he's so far going for a lot of aggression from ledge with these bears. I don't know if it's 100% going to work from Falcon, because Falcon has such good speed to just back away super quickly, let the bear whiff, and then punish for whatever comes next. A B out of shield is going to intercept that guy with a really decent anti-air. Slightly disjointed. Um... But could probably still get interacted with. Right now, Falcon, 62%. Uh, trying to go for the fair to get the tech chase, but mistiming it a little bit. Falcon is going to punish that. And that up smash has so much range on it now. It's just so silly to see that up smash actually connect like that on the heel. And the DI did not help in that situation. BK, BK has a lot to kind of catch, uh, catch up with right now. BK trying to zone out with some aerials right now. I like the landed neutral B. Punishing the lack of tech tech with missile. Up B to get the anti-air gun, but not quite enough to kill. BK at 21%. Can't afford to take any more percent at this point. Falcon is a is a damage dealer. And you know, speaking of once you have out that high damage, Falcon does a really good job of taking out stops. Back throw. Oh, up throw. Yep. That would be that's a hundred percent better. Up throw will definitely kill at that percent. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I would be going for those up smashes like that when BK's at such low percent right now. But still, whenever Falcon runs up and up smashes, it's super scary. That move has no right being that quick and that have that much range. Good near to go in a tech situation, not able to get a follow-up though. Uh, Punch that landing on platform with up air. 
It was interesting. Uh, I'm actually surprised the bomb didn't true combo into that neutral B. Uh, able to shield it. Uh, back here. Yep. Trying to catch roll with bomb. Uh, a little unsafe on shield, though, with the up tilt. Gonna get punished with Raptor Boost. Oh, Falcon Kick! Falcon Kick! You just let it rip, bro. I love Falcon Kick. Oh, that's gonna get punished. Wow! Opting for a high punish. And up throw is gonna kill again. VK turning this around, though, at a 99%. You need to be very careful how you approach Falcon in, in these situations now. You, you really need to do your best to keep Falcon out and keep building up the percent at this point. But Falcon is so quick, it's very hard to keep him out a lot of time. You, a lot of time you want to really try and, and make him anxious so that he actually kind of... He wants to Falcon Kick. Falcon Kick is a really not a great neutral tool in, in many ways. It's really good at punishing landings and whatnot, but if you can get Falcon to keep flooding the stage without him, you punch him super easy. But BK stock is going to get taken by Jacob right now. Uh, about a 20, about a 30 percent uh, stock deficit, uh, percent deficit right now. Can BK maintain this and extend the lead a little bit more to get this last stock in? Oh, but these platform extensions. BK's got to be super careful. Back air into into a near tech situation, but going to jump out from that platform chase. Uh, percents are really even right now. Four throw. Oh, it's a down throw. Trying to, go for, trying to go for these combos still, but we're now at a percent where down throw fair is not going to be true anymore. So you need, you, I think you were, you're better off throwing off stage for stage control. Keeping Falcon out, really good job with this wall of projectiles right now. Oh, parry, but not able to get the punish on the on the uh, on the uh, Falcon kick. Trying to cover roll. Really good time down smash. Now, there was a few things there that was actually very interesting. Falcon decided to ledge hang there for a different time. Didn't want to roll in for bomb. Uh, fun fact about uh, Dark Samus's neutral B. At a certain point, it will start two framing. It actually uh, goes a little lower than regular Samus's neutral B, so it can actually get ledge hang on certain characters. I don't think Falcon was one of them, but BK took the gamble. Didn't, didn't work out, but still, it was pressure. Uh, Falcon didn't really want to do a whole lot after that, but then opted for the neutral getup, where BK ran up, timed to the down smash perfectly to send them right back off at that horrible angle. No amount of DI would correct for that. So really great showing coming out of BK right now. That's going to put Post down to 7. Uh, Bryant down to 6 with a 1 stock lead in Post's favor. So Samus is going to do well on a variety of different stages. Samus is just a very versatile character. If you want to go to Battlefield, you can use the top platform as an escape option for your up B out of shield. Or you can kind of hide under the side platforms on Battlefield as well while you let your projectiles out. And if somebody tries to land on one of the side platforms, you can just, you know, anti-air them with your up air. Uh, Samus can also work incredibly well on flat stages because people are going to have to jump a lot more to avoid your projectiles. And there's not really platforms to kind of get around that, of course. So it, people are going to be more prone to jump or run up and shield, which in that case, Samus can punish them for it. Uh, though Samus can probably have a tough time on flatter stages if it's certain zoning characters like Pac-Man maybe who can set up Hydrant in certain ways that prevents the projectiles from coming through. And it's a bit easier for Pac-Man to deal certain ways. But it's, that's more character dependent. Instead, we are getting Link. Now, uh, Link as a character, I think actually... My, if we go to like FD or something, that might pose a problem to BK uh, collecting the first stock because you can place Bomb as like a deterrent in the middle of the stage for a lot of stuff, including intercepting uh, Neutral B. I feel like Bomb will do a decent amount of work in this, though a lot of Samus' projectiles will not interact with Link's projectiles. Uh, I think this is an even matchup. Link is, you know... <laughs> Really similar characters in like their general game plan, where they'll run through projectiles and punish a lot of jumps or, or shields, depending on what they want to do. It's whoever can utilize the projectiles in a more effective manner first. Though Samus will have a little bit of an advantage when it comes to Zare and whatnot, follows from that, because Link does not have such a tool. Though Link has a much stronger anti airing, uh, sorry, not anti airing, out of shield and landing option with Nair. Ooh, 
a down throw into up B. Uh, sorry, the up air is going to be a uh, pretty solid confirm right there. Link is right now not looking uh, too damaged, though it is gonna, it is the, uh, it is getting a little closer right now. So yeah, it'll put up a little damage. That up B out of shield is at such far range, but the tips are hitbox is not that great. I really like the anti-air up B. You don't see a ton of sandwiches do that. Um, I really like it when DK does it. It's risky, but it's effective. It's quick. It's hard to react to. You can't react. You can't even react. To it. You know that it's coming. Link Arrow and Boomerang are gonna be a problem. Uh, at 112, though, uh, it's looking like it might be DK's game uh, stock right now. DK really needs to be careful, though. Mm. Ooh. Miss spacing the up air though. I BK shouldn't do that anymore. BK should stay as grounded as possible. Because if you land on that platform like that again, um, you are gonna get hit by up air. And up air is such a strong kill. Up into the ground. Into the ground. So dash attack is another risky move. Up air is gonna send Lincoln to disadvantage though. Don't let you cannot let him land. But down air is gonna be such a strong landing option since uh, BK. BK can't interact with it. He needs to kind of get go around that and prevent and punish the landing that comes after. And he's like, you really do not want to be above Link. You do not want to be below Link. You need to be horizontal to it, where it's going to be a lot harder for him to get uh, some sort of kill off of it. Ooh, boomerang into an accident. I didn't realize that. Back throw? Yep. Uh, down air? Down air. Oh! The SD! Uh, I don't know what happened there. I... He definitely still had his jump. He definitely still had his up B. I, I guess he's just fast now. Um, he didn't realize what happened. So now here's the thing. Can BK stall this out long enough? Because Link does have a tough, tougher time killing horizontally. Unless it's going to be something like that directly uh, on. Samus directly. Nair will do it at those higher percents. Um, but if BK... At that point, when you're at that percent, it's going to be very hard for Samus. But if BK could have kept... X amount of horizontal distance away from Link, it gets a lot harder because then Link gets a little frustrated. He wants to either get in, you can punish his jumps, or he wants to start sending out a uh, bomb, which bomb will kill, but you can see it coming a mile away. You can throw up shield, blah, blah, blah. It just depends on how you want to approach the situation. It is a tough, it is tough. I, I would not have put money on DK taking that second stock, but the fact that he took a stock at all is Karimo. Ready to keep post with that one stock lead, putting post at their six stock while Bryant is down to five. BK Bunky Kong. BK Bunky Kong to see you. ECAC stage listing. Uh, going against Link. Link is another character that does well on pretty much every stage. He has a lot of horizontal tools. He has a lot of vertical tools that kill. Dude, he loves it when people are on platforms. Because if they're on a platform... Um, oh, jeez. Up airs. <laughs> they snagging in all those kills. Those just like general up air strings. Down throw on, at low percents onto platform tech tape situation. Uh, Link loves that kind of stuff. So, again, so the, with a character like Link, it's not a matter of, you know, what stage is he bad on. It's a matter of what stage is your character is good on going into that matchup. What can, what characteristics of the stage can you take advantage of more than what Link can at a certain point in time? This song. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, when it comes to post, hmm. to be honest, you probably want to send in Kenny. I don't think Bowser's going to like this matchup that much. Um, he is quick, though, and he can jump a lot. I just think Bowser will have a tough time. He can probably get two frames decently well by Link. Uh, bomb is a problem when recovering. <laughs> I 
I mean, I feel like Snake would be it. Unless you said in Terry, but uh, I don't think Terry would. I think Terry would be have to use his mobility super hard. We are getting Bowser, though. Kenshiro is feeling confident in this matchup. I assume. Maybe there's something about this matchup I don't know about, though. Three, two, I'm trying to think. One, go! <laughs> Need to get the end. I want to know what Kenshiro's thinking right now. Maybe the up, maybe Bowser's up B out of shield is gonna be a, a very strong tool against like Link's Nair or something. Jab, jab. Oh, going for the dash grab, kind of trying to predict some sort of shield, but it's not gonna work out there. Oh, this joints good jab to punish the landing right there. Ooh, flame breath. That's not gonna be punished. Trying to get the anti air with the up air? I don't I don't agree with that. Yeah, I'm gonna player, but... Ooh, really good back, playing the back air. Punish uh, a lot of these swings on shield. Up smash is not gonna be quick enough to punish that landing. Now Bowser is a big body, so a lot of these projectiles are gonna be a, little, a lot easier to hit. The wheel, what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You, you can combo into the weak hit of up smash into back air? That was filthy. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a true combo. Oh my god. Wow. See, you can't put great can. <laughs> I like that, BK. <laughs> that was awesome. I love seeing that. Wow. Really good punishing the shield with side B. Oh, no. it, dude, if you you could he could have gotten that he could have gotten that F smash out if he just let it rip earlier. <laughs> just, a, just a few frames earlier. <laughs> really good stall and fall. Good good mix up coming out of uh, Kenshiro right now. Mm -hmm. Going for mid stage to get uh, it was a little bit of a DI mix up. Uh, I don't know who was in control of percent at that point, but uh, I think. Kenshiro could have went right to land on the side to actually steal that kill a little bit earlier up the top. Yeah, that's gonna kill. Putting that's gonna put Bryant all the way down to their last player. Three stocks while post still holding on to a nice old meaty stuff. Really great stuff coming out of Kenshiro right now. Great doing the greatness. I'm, I want to know, I still want to know what Great was thinking in that. He did well, and he, he was able to use a lot of his tools. Uh, Fair was a very strong tool. A lot of timing mix up with, like, stall and fall stuff. Um, things of that sort, and, like, that cheeky up, that we could have up smash into back here was so funny. I loved it. Um... I want to know what he generally thinks of that matchup, though. He did, he, he played it well. Um, he just really mixed up a lot of his movement and able to push it real good. So Bowser is going to be a character that is going to benefit a bit more from platforms. So landing side B on platform is does is going to mean earlier kills. Uh, DI dependent, though. Uh, Battlefield being one of them. Uh, doesn't and then, you know depending on if he's fighting a zoner or whatnot, he might not want to bring like a character like Pac-Man to like Battlefield though. Pac-Man can kind of hide under platforms by setting up Hydrant, and then you know Bowser's gonna have a tough time getting around the Hydrant since he, there's only really one way to get in. You either um, interact with Hydrant, knock it out. And you could try to land on platform, and I don't really advise that though. So it really depends on who he's fighting against, but generally you would. For Bowser, you want to leave Battlefield open. Um, I feel, I feel like Smashville and Hollow Bastion, you would want to leave open too. Um, uh, probably Smashville a bit more often. Uh, I, over the weekend, I think I talked with Aaron, and he, I don't think he agreed with that personally um, from Fisher College. But I don't. Know, I think I do think Bowser works decently on platforms. Even though, even though small Smashville and Hollow Bastion are that mid platform, uh, I guess it depends. He probably Bowser probably looks, looks a little better on PS2 than Smashville, but you know. But we are getting 
a Samus. Now, Great is going to have a ton of experience with this after fighting BK. Uh, what, I guess, uh, BK, whatever you think of this matchup, what do you think? I, I, I feel like Bowser does have a tough time against Samus. Um, Movement-wise, it just depends how. It, it really depends on if Bowser can stay in and just s stay on Samus the entire time, because then Samus is gonna feel feel so smothered with like command grabs and whatnot. Typically, Bowser struggles. Great does not. <laughs> yeah. Great is like that, isn't he? Really good uh, flame breath. Gonna deal a lot of damage. Gonna dash up and roll. Gun to high profile the down smash with bomb. Uh, going, uh, a lot of these. See, I a lot of these players like to. Oh, oh, so, 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 dude, let me talk. <laughs> You're not giving me time to talk. Great. Jeez, you like do all this silly stuff, and I love it. Like it's wonderful spike coming out of that down beyond great. Oh my god. What I was going to say is a lot of a lot of players, um, especially at collegiate level, like to be aggressive from ledge, and I don't agree with that. I don't think players should be that aggressive from ledge, uh, doing like let go ledge to fair because you will get punished by stuff like flame breath on Bowser. Um, and going to catch jump with, with back air to take out this uh, once down to this last stock for Brian. Just great is just not <laughs> letting the Samus land at all on a tear right now. You're on platform. You're kind of scared up there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna command grab you. Oh, uh, going for a turnaround. Expecting the roll for, for a tilt. This Samus player is really trying to be patient. Oh, oh almost catching the jump with back air again. <laughs> wow. <coughs> <coughs> Run up, just into down smash. Great, just kind of downloaded. The, the, the player at that point. He just kind of knew that he just wanted to, to get away from Bowser as quickly as he can. But guess what? Bowser's a lot faster in this game than in other smashes. You won't see him coming sometimes. He's the train coming on through and gonna blow down all the, you know, anything in his, anything on the tracks. <laughs> Dude, stood there and watched. Oh, kind of, yeah. At, well, yeah, definitely at the end, at the ledge. I think he was expecting great... Uh, to run in to kind of get like either like a dash attack or like run up F tilt. Uh, and he just wanted to punish it with a grab, but Great didn't really give him the chance. <laughs> but that is. <laughs> oh my god, I keep coughing right now. Jeez. This sucks! I'm coughing way too much. I can't talk anymore. Oh, <laughs> it's from this weekend. Talked way too much this weekend. It was so much fun though. Met everybody at, at post. Super fun. Had a wonderful time this weekend doing the uh, Campus Invitational. Sponsored by the ECAC and Monster Energy. Uh, and Post University themselves. Thank you to the Post for hosting that event. Hoping we get to do it again next year. Uh, but right now, Post is going to be up 1-0 on Brian. 9-9. <laughs> nine <to> nine reset. <coughs> <coughs> so Brian is going to have to do something to adjust. Either switch in like a sub for a player or change the character lineup on somebody. Something needs to be done. We didn't even get to see Kenny uh, come in. I assume we're going to see Kenny off the start here. I assume Kenny wants to play. That's just you know, what I think is going to happen. For the stage list, probably going to get PS2. Everybody likes playing on PS2. Usually leave it open. It's like, especially because you don't know what your lineup is going to be and necessarily what your opponent's lineup is going to be. PS2 is generally the, considered the most neutral stage. And there is Ghost. We are going to see Penny get the run in right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. GGEZ. GGEZ. Now, I think Marshall, was Marshall just the Samus player that was just in? Because we had Samus, <clears throat> we had Link, uh, and the first 
character was Falcon. It was a Falcon, it was a Link, and it was a Samus. I think we're getting Samus at the start of the lineup right now. Oh, we're getting Kirby. Uh, oh, this is this is a super tough matchup for Kirby. Are you kidding? <laughs> I I I think I, I don't know what Kirby really does in this matchup. He can't even inhale grenade because grenade damages him when he inhales it. I will say though, if he is somehow able to keep Ghost grounded, um, Kirby will be at the advantage. But Snake is such a mobile character; he likes to be in the air a lot, be reversing, he likes to like move between platforms while setting up all these projectiles. It's not going to be the easiest thing to keep Kenny on the ground. The, the the thing, the primary thing behind that though, is if Kenny does stay on the ground, Kirby's gonna have a lot of advantage on grab situations. Kind of combo there because Snake is a heavy body and will combo a little easier. Was that an F smash? Just letting the F smash rip right in the middle of stage, able to seal it out. Hold on, Kirby. Oh, I mean, what did I miss? I missed that fair. <laughs> well, I saw the fair, but I didn't see the percentage. That was so quick. Oh my god. Kenny only at 49% right now. Dash attacking to pop him right back up. Since though that C4 is killing. C4 into back air, into up tilt. Taking it real slow, making it a little hard for this for this uh, Kirby to get right in. Marshall has to switch this up as he's not right now. Punish aim, uh, stall on platform with up air. Grenade into back air, the tried and true. And he's so good at those follow ups. And not able to be quick enough to get around that Nikita. Still not enough to kill, though. Uh, that's coming down. C4 for the upbeat. Yep. He lands right on it. Yep. Kenny knew. Kenny knew he would land right on stage with that. And Kenny is going to take it. I don't... Yeah, he didn't lose a single stock. So that's going to be post. Uh, still at nine. And Bryant down to six stocks. Kenny is the man with the plan. He has all the blueprints to like all the traps in the in the warehouse. He's gonna set all those bombs, all the trip wires. He's got all that planned out. My cat wants to come say hi. <laughs> oh, no she doesn't. <laughs> she just wants to chill. Not be in my arms right now. Oh! Why are you knocking everything over now? Hey! Cat ruins everything. <laughs> uh, now I think we're getting Link back into this rotation. I do think Link uh, doesn't ha Link hat. Uh, I think Link has a decent matchup against Snake, just because a lot of projectiles. Link's really good at grab game, tomahawking. I I think this is a, actually a really good choice coming out of Bryant right now. Uh, PS2. PS2? No, we're getting Smashville. Interesting choice. Huh. I don't know. I feel like this... I Oh, I, I mean, definitely a Link favor. This is definitely a Link favorite stage, I would say, because a lot of the projectiles are going to uh, travel the full length of the stage. I mean, there's not going to be a ton more room for Snake to kind of avoid. And we're kind of seeing that a little bit already. Uh, Kenny is having a little bit of a tough time getting in. He's going to get grabbed from that follow-up. 55% on Kenny with nothing on Link right now. Kenny is going to have to figure a way out of shield. I mean, he's going to have to, like, be on platform a little bit more, maybe. Um, pull grenade a little bit more often. Pull between it and then out. Um, it just, it's tough because if you're on platform, you're above. You don't want to be above Link. You really don't. 
Uh, Kenny needs to fade in a bit more. He either needs to. He also can use grenade as a turn uh, for Link's projectiles. Pop it up. Wait. Oh, I think Kenny just. Kenny definitely just saved him. He can get back in there still. No, he can't. I lied. <laughs> really good stuff for Kenny to for intercept that. You almost saved him though, Kenny. Kenny. What are you trying to do? You're trying to give us a heart attack? You're trying to, you're trying to find, the, find it in the kindness of your heart to save these people? There. <laughs> oh, reading the roll in! <laughs> reading the roll in. Uh, I think he wanted a down air to hit the B button by accident. <laughs> Kenny at 102. This is starting to get really toasty. This is where Lincoln really starts to get stops. Ooh, we hit a bear. Is going to be a follow up. Down. Smash, and like Link right back off stage. Hmm, not quite strong enough for up smash. Don't be surprised. That's just an up step. I'm not gonna do this. Anti airing the free fall down uh, of up the with up tilt. Can he still holding on to his three to three of his stocks? Can he hold on to it for the full match? Can he get a three stock? Uh, roll up stage. No, neutral get up. Really good neutral get up. Oh my god. Can 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 he get the nine stock? You're right. I want to see the same stuff. Uh, no, up he is going to snag it. <laughs> oh, snake. Oh, anti-air snakes. Uh, snakes getting a lot of hits on right now. And these low percent situations with Blink might be the tough part for Kenny. Because he doesn't travel too far. And then, uh, Link might be able to just kind of throw out something in retaliation. Yeah, up tilt. C4. It's really sneaky C4. I like it. Yeah, he's having a tough time getting in right now. And whenever he comes in, he gets punished with like an air of air. Well, you want to see more of those situations where Kenny punishes off of a grenade and he's not, Kenny's not setting it up so well right now. Um, and that is going to be a, another stop taken off of Kenny. Mm -hmm. Well, not able to get a bit. See, this is so tough. <laughs> Kenny really needs to put his back to uh, Link a lot more and just kind of hug platform. Because right now the percent is getting tied up right now. Up tilt into up air. There needs to be a lot more punishes on Kenny's back. Of the game. Smash. Oh. The get up attack from up smash. The invincibility is going to go right to that. Oh, really nice C4. Kind of. That, okay, that was actually really interesting. Because Kenny up smashed. And then from there, it was kind of a reaction from Link, thinking that Kenny was going to stay in the area, maybe shield. And he I, he wanted to be aggressive at ledge against Kenny and sneak out that up B, but Kenny dropped C4 and backed away. And Link did not not react to that movement at all and still up B'd above ledge and got punished by the C4, sealing out the stock for Kenny. Putting Kenny down to... Well, putting post... Down to seven stocks and Bryant down to their last three. Uh, if I'm Bryant, I send in Captain Falcon. I think Captain Falcon does a really good job. Uh, well, not. I think I think Snake Falcon is relatively even because Falcon has such good grab potential, uh, really good tomahawks jump capabilities. Um, the only problem Falcon has against Snake is going to be a lot of um, the aerial based stuff. Uh, I think once you you can. <coughs> <laughs> you can get easily punished by by Snake's Grenade, but you can also just up B and, cap and capture Snake in the middle of the air. <laughs> Makes it really tough for Snake sometimes. <coughs> oh. Gotta stop coughing. This song's my jam. Yo, Crimson. How's it going? <laughs> The Riz with Crimson. See, we need a we need a third episode of The Riz with Crimson coming up soon. Kenny, come on, Kenny. <laughs> I, I know you you're going for the flash. You're going for the flashy stuff, but it's way too early for a fair like that. <laughs> that up here is so close to intercepting Snake. 
If, <laughs> yes, but, <laughs> but what if it hit, though? <laughs> it would have been crazy. It really would have been crazy. <laughs> Dash attack. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh my god, that was so... That The sauce happened, dude. Up tilt into up smash was... Oh, no, no, it was down tilt into up smash. So good, dude. So good. 60%. Oh, trying to get the roll in. That's going to get punished, though. Uh, air dodge the ledge. Ooh, outspace. Micro spacing the back hit of down smash is going to punish the mid recovery. With Nikita. Oh, that can be. You could have. He could have worked on the dash attack. Back air is going to seal up. Oh, oh, my God. Really good DI. Uh, even on Snake, I could have sworn out. Up tilt. Up tilt. I'm calling it up tilt. Coming up. Oh, no. Up B. <laughs> Yeah, you, you can't be sh you can't stay in shield too long against Falcon. He'll just up the you out of shield and, and all that. Really good stuff coming out of J Cobb right now. Uh, was that two stocks left on Bryant? I th did, I think yeah I think. Yeah, I think he has two stocks left. I don't I don't think Kenny took two stocks. I'm trying to remember. Because it was the down tilt up smash. And that was it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. So now BK oh BK is coming in. Uh BK doing very well in this matchup in the first round. Now, BK played it very well. Before I don't I don't see you know Falcon is gonna have to adjust a decent amount. <laughs> Kenny uh, D BK did a really decent job before, just spacing people out with projectiles and of the sort. So as long as I feel like as long as BK sticks to that same general plan, um, there was a little bit of it, it was a little difficult I believe at the in the beginning of it, but BK adjusted really well and able to seal it out. I think if we went to PS2, it would, be, it, work, it would work especially well for BK. But I don't know if... Um, I don't know if Jacob is going to let Samus go back to PS2. All right, we're going to a triplat. And I, uh, to be honest, I think this works, might work out. Actually, no, I think both characters work decently well on this. I think this is actually a really good choice for Falcon. Um, just because of that platform at the top and how Falcon can command grab up the... He can put Samus into a position where she feels the, she feels pressured enough to go up there. I feel like that worked really well for Falcon. Though Samus can use that as an escape option with her upbeat. Oh, going for the, trying to go for the early kill with that down here. Reading, trying to read the low recovery. BK isn't going to give him the time of day, though. Well, running right into that bomb. Dash attack. Up airs. You know, to punish the jump with another up air. Really good shield poke with bomb and fair to kind of keep the shield a little low. I like the Zairs. This, this is the tough part. It's like if Falcon can't get in, there's not a ton he can do. Uh, at 126, looking toasty. Going to low profile with down tilt. Oh, he should have let her rip. He should have let that dude rip. Back throw? No, up throw will kill this percent. It's like 160 to start Oh, wow. That cheeky up B and not... And that, I think that was impeccable. I missed it. It was red or blue. <clears throat> Raptor boost. Escape to that top platform. But now, you have to get down. And Falcon likes it when you're above him. Because he can just up B you. Up there. Ooh, Falcon kick to get out of disadvantage as a landing option. And a punish. Up B is escape, but that's going to get punished with with up air strings. Usually air is going to take it. I think that was kind of suspect DI, uh, but it, it was a good percent. He was, it, that, that was an overdue stock. Really good extender with the up B. I really like that. Ooh, <laughs> the jab cancels into this. Try to escape the platform with up B. Wow, Falcon kick going through that, uh, this will be 
No! He definitely wanted up B, and that was a miss input. That... It feels like such a shame that that's the way it went. They were both playing super well. Jacob was playing pretty well, and it's really sad to see it go that way. But we take those every day. We take those. And that's going to put Post up 2-0 against Bryant this time around. So Post is going to take it this week. Congratulations to Post. You're already in playoffs. This is just for better seating, though. Um, jeez. What I really liked out of that, uh, I mean, BK was very strong at keeping Falcon kind of frustrated the entire time. Uh, you did a really good job, BK. Uh, kind of putting the wall up and really getting your extensions going uh, with certain combos. Really good call-outs. Uh, I don't know if you, I missed it. If I don't know if you could have teched that stage spike. I don't remember if it was red or blue. If it was blue, you gotta learn how to tech, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I probably wouldn't have been able to tech that online either. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. But you played it well. You played it well. You put up the wall. You made Falcon jump. Um, the only the only other thing was, uh, it's uh, teching is hard online, dude. Teching is really hard online. But you get used to it. You kind of, you you kind of uh, get used to uh, the idea of you know if you see something coming a little bit, then you're like, oh, I hit the shield button. But online, that can that can bite you in the leg too because if you shield too early, then you neutral air dodge off stage and die. It's it is what it is. But you did, you played it very well. Everybody played very well tonight. Uh, post taking it, taking it. Uh, apparently, I need to post. I need to raid post east. Uh, post you esports too, so I'm going to do that. Uh, you, everybody, stick around for post uh, esports too. Uh, I'm not sure what they have on there right now. What do they got on there? What do they got on there? Um, I don't think they have anything right now. Oh, they have Rocket League right now. Rocket League Purple versus Buena Vista University. So stick around uh, to while I raid post. U Esports 2 for a little bit of Rocket League. Alright, everybody. I've been Frisco Fragrant. Uh, we do have Smash Orange tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, so come on back here for that. Otherwise, stick around for some post Esports 2 Rocket League action. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Right down.